All right, so the very first book that I have finished since starting this channel is Word Freak. Um, I'm a little bit obsessed with Stra Scrabble, not nearly as obsessed as the people in this book, um, but I have such fond memories of it because it it's one of the first games I remember learning how to play. We had Junior Scrabble um, at home when I was a kid. It's the Scrabble board that has all the, it has the pictures and it even has some words laid out so you could like learn to spell those words. Um, and from there, I mean, I've had so many variations of uh, Scrabble. I've had travel Scrabble uh, at the lake. We have a deluxe Scrabble that turns on a, on the table. And um, it's just a game that has been a big part of my life. Um, I remember being very, very shocked when I learned that Scrabble is a game like chess that has championships and that people take very, very extraordinarily seriously. Um, I, I remember seeing a documentary about it and just thinking, that's amazing. And then I came across this book and uh, the book is essentially about those people, these people who just they dedicate their lives to this game. Um, yeah, he, uh, I love this book. I really genuinely love this book. Uh, it's it's great. It's it's like a, it's like one of those Rolling Stone expose kind of things uh, where he immerses himself. The author Stefan Fatsis immerses himself in the world and tries to tries to go. I think his beginning rating is like in the seven hundreds, and he tries to get all the way up uh, to qualify to play in the first division for the Nationals. Um, I love the characters in this book, the people that he meets, they're, they're so eccentric, just misfits. And, um, I, I, I really enjoyed reading about them and, uh, learning about them. Things that surprised me in the book were, um, he talks a lot about the, uh, testosterone and how that plays into the competitiveness in the game. That was kind of shocking to me. Um, and also at the back of the book, this is so cool that he did this. Like, this is how you know someone loves words. Uh, in the appendix, he has a list of words that are in the book, um, that do not qualify for as words that you can play in Scrabble. And um, I'm kind of shocked. Like some of these words seem to me like words I would play in a Scrabble game, like overpacked or piercings or um, unenjoyable to me. And I would never challenge the word unenjoyable in a Scrabble game. But there you go. For some reason, it doesn't. It's it's not a playable word. I I want to go back and look into that at another time. Um, I'm not feeling so hot today. I actually have a bit of a migraine and I need to go pack for my trip tomorrow. So today is not the day I'm going to research that, but, uh, that is something I want to go back and look into. Um, yeah, really enjoyed this book. Highly recommend it. Um, yeah, I'd give it four cups of tea.